What is going on, guys? Flipless Crypt here, and today I'm going to be starting a very new series. Um, I'm still going to be doing my other series, but I just need to get more people in on it. But this one's something I can do anytime, anywhere, any place, and that's going to be my high school memories. Uh, I'm going to break it down into various episodes. I'm going to spend about two episodes on my freshman year. This will be including the first one, about three on my sophomore, and about five on junior and senior year. The reason why freshman and sophomore year have a lot less is because, honestly, nothing much happened. And, honestly, it was a very, it was a very boring two years. As is with most people in high school. But anyway, also, before I jump in it, I would just, like, say I changed my like rendering quality and my video quality up a bit. I don't know how it's going to turn out. I'm looking at it on Pro 11 on Sony Vegas right now. And it looks alright. So it might render out on YouTube shitty. And if it does, I apologize. And I'll just go back to my old render settings. Alright, moving on. Starting out. Uh, let me just set out the scene for you. I'm about 13 years old right now. I'm not 13 now, but I was about 13 years old back in, I think it was 2008. Yeah, 2008. Uh, my parents' idea was, okay, his brother killed himself about two years ago. He's already uh, depressed about that. Why don't we take him away from Maryland and move him to Alabama where he's going to have no friends? So they take me there, and... 2007, about, like, it, 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 it was like the last week of 2007, so I'll just say 2008, and I go to 8th grade there for about 6 months, and everyone pretty much hated me, but that's, that's aside the point. Fast forward to about the first day of school, my mom was telling me about, you know, high school, and she was like telling me, she's like, you know, your first 3 months of 8th grade, I only spent 3 months in that middle school, and it was pretty much hell. He's telling me, I knew you had a first, you know, hard time at 8th grade, but remember, it, it's like the same when you moved here. It's completely new people, a new school, and this time, the whole entire 8th grade class that you graduated with is, you know, with you on this one, so don't be afraid of it. And I mean, yeah, she was right. It was, I, I remember getting off of the bus. I had never ridden a bus in my life. And I remember getting off of the bus, and I just see, like, a bunch of people all around me. Because this school held about 1,500 people. And I just see a bunch of people. Older people. Pregnant women. Big women. A lot of people. A lot, a lot of people. And then that was when they told us that, yeah, all of you freshmen, yeah, yeah, the ninth graders, yeah, you guys are going to be segregated. You guys don't deserve to talk to 10th, 11th, and 12th graders. Why? Because you're young. That was what they, that was pretty much what they told us. They put us in the basement of the high school until they made their little freshman academy, which was right next to the high school, except it was a miniature version of the high school. It was complete with everything we needed to not socialize with the 10th, 11th, and 12th graders, except the fucking cafeteria. No joke, I spent it, it was like a second middle school for one year with all of the freshmen, and they called it the Freshman Academy. It was, and oh yeah, and they played classical music all damn day. It was crazy. Now, let, let me break down what my school is. I went to a very upper middle class, rich, high top end high school. Granted, you had everybody from every walk of life there. You had the poor people, you had middle class, you had the wealthy, you had the trailer park. You know, the Alabama shit. But the thing is, in the South, they can they can spank you if you do something wrong. And granted, fortunately, I never did any... Well, actually, I did do a lot of bad shit in that high school. But I always opted out of, you know, spanking. Because who would want an old guy to spank you on the ass? And I mean, quite frankly, it's frowned upon in mostly every state anyway. Which leads me to my very first story. Which one do I want to tell first? The redemption story or the bullying story? Let's go with redemption because that one is bullying too. Um, back then I wasn't a skinny motherfucker. I weighed about 250 pounds and I remember this senior in high school who was like a really big nerd. And theater, the theater class had done these wounds, these like wound things. And they were really good. They were very like artistic 
and they looked realistic, and he told me, because I wasn't, like, a Christian back then, but, you know, I still didn't believe in dark magic and all that shit. He said, all right, bet me $20 that he, that I can heal this guy's wounds, and he, he, like, said some really, like, freaky magical shit, and he said, all right, it's gonna be healed the next day, and the very next day, it was gone, because it was fake, it was a fake wound, and he starts fucking hitting me, and I'm like 250 pounds. I'm depressed as hell because my brother had killed himself. I lost all my friends. I lost everything. I didn't give a fuck anymore. And he just kept on beating on me and beating on me until he gave me my twenty dollars. Until he gave me, until I gave him twenty dollars. And I gave it to him eventually because he like wouldn't stop hitting me. And I remember the teachers saw it, and they didn't say shit, because that was how Oxford was. It has a happy ending, though, because senior year I ran in, into him again, and I told him he better give me $20. And he asked me who I was, and I said, you remember that fat-ass bitch who gave you $20 because you were a lying, condescending prick? He's like, yeah, I remember that asshole. Who are you, his friend? I said, no, I'm that condescending asshole. Give me it. Or your ass is going to get the wedgie that you tried to give me, bitch. I got my $20 back, so I feel good. <laughs> Moving on to my next story. I guess my next one. Oh, yeah. The, I think this one was the very funniest one. We had this very weird kid who got this other very weird girl to send him naked pictures. And... The guy had his phone taken up, and they looked at his phone, and they saw her naked, like, pictures. And we had to go to a two-hour-long assembly about how sending naked pictures to another person is very morally wrong, and how if they take it up, they will have to call the police because that is technically sexual assault, because none of us are of age, because I think all of us are about 13 and 14 at this point, and... In our state, the, the age you can send is 16. Better safe than statutory rape. But we just went to this long-ass assembly, and, and our principal, they had a freshman academy principal. They had a they had two vice principals for the big high school, and then they had the big like principal. And I just remember it was like they, they would like show like text. Like, like logs and shit. Be like at this point, you should tell them no, say no, and there won't be trouble. And it was just bantering. Then they brought out the paddle, and they were, and then they were saying that if we catch any of you with naked pictures, we will spank you. And looking back on it, there was so many lawsuits, so many lawsuits that I could have filed. But eventually, I grew to like that school just a little bit not to do anything morally wrong to it. But, yeah, guys, that's about my first two flashbacks. It's really hard because I just have a, such a lot of great memories from junior and senior year that I don't remember all the shitty ones. And the reason why I want to, you know, give you my shitty ones is because it builds up to something. It builds up to me eventually losing weight, me eventually finding where I fit in, and me pretty much going from zero to one of the most, not not one of the most respected people in my high school, but probably one of the most known in my high school in terms of finding out who the hell he was and from being that fat kid that no one knew about who sat in that corner to, that kid's Jimmy. That kid's pretty fucking awesome. So that, that's the reason why I'm telling you my shitty ninth grade stories. Um, next week, I'll be... No, probably not next week. It'll Probably in a day or two, I will be doing my sophomore year stories because that's about it that I have for freshman year. I'm sorry if this video was bad. It's very hard pulling up memories from the past that happened a while ago. As always, I've flipped the script, and peace out, guys. See you later.